Today, the man suspected of killing an 11-year-old girl sits in a jail cell in Shreveport. 18-year-old Juan Garcia Rodriguez was arrested this morning and awaits extradition back to Texas. Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Bill Barajas. 11-year-old Maria Gonzalez was found dead under her bed last Saturday. Investigators say she had been sexually assaulted, then strangled. The suspect was allegedly her neighbor at the main village apartments in Pasadena. He was arrested today about 250 miles away in Shreveport. Our Corley Peel joins us uh, from the car apartment complex where she spoke with the suspect's roommate. Corley. Yeah, this is the door to Maria Gonzalez's apartment and just steps away from here is the apartment that Juan Garcia was staying in. I spoke with his roommate who says that Maria's uncle recommended that he stay with him, but no one ever imagined that he would be suspected of killing her. For two days, Juan Garcia's roommate says he didn't realize he was living with a suspected killer. He asked to remain anonymous. Police captured Juan Garcia in Shreveport, Louisiana. Police say he strangled and sexually assaulted 11-year-old Maria Gonzalez last Saturday afternoon. Garcia's roommate says he wasn't home at the time of the murder. Investigators say Maria was home alone and alerted her father someone was knocking on the door while he was at work. Police say he came home to find her body wrapped in plastic inside of a laundry basket that was placed under the bed. This photo of Garcia shows him sitting on his bed in his apartment while police spoke with him. His roommate says police took both their DNA samples. On Monday, Garcia told his roommate he was leaving for a job out of town. His roommate says he made him a copy of the apartment key and asked Garcia to leave it since he was leaving. He says Garcia told him that he planned on coming back so he would hold on to the key. Police say the key was left inside Maria's apartment and was found after her murder. Murder. Detectives didn't have to go far to learn the key matched the lock to Garcia's apartment right next door. Maria's father is now fighting for justice in Pasadena, while her mother grieves from Guatemala. Yeah, Maria's family sent out a statement today saying that this arrest does bring them some peace and they say they are grateful for the law enforcement, everyone who contributed to capturing Garcia. Now he's expected to have a hearing on Monday and he will be extradited back here to Texas. We'll keep you updated on that. But coming up tonight at 10, we'll hear how this is just the beginning of a long road to justice for this family. Reporting live from Pasadena, Corley Peel, KPRC 2 News.